So we've learned how to do a dilution series when we've been working with a one molar solution. And we've made five different dilutions from it. That's fairly straightforward. What about when we're not working with a one molar solution? What about when our stock solution is a 0.8 molar solution? Before we start, let's have a look at this graphic and remind ourselves what the V1, C1, V2, C2 actually stand for. The V1 is how much of your stock solution are you going to remove to put into your particular dilution. Your C1 is the concentration of your stock solution. Your V2 is how much do you want at each particular dilution. In this case, it's 20 mils. And your C2 is the desired concentration of each dilution that you want to make. Remember what you don't have within this formula is how much water you will add to make it up to the 20 mils. And so we're doing a dilution series. We're gonna be looking at the volume of 0.8 mole per decimeter cubed of our stock solution that we need to put in to make 20 mils of a dilution series. We're using the formula C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2. Throughout these calculations, our C1 is always going to be 0.8 because that is the concentration of our stock solution. Likewise, our V2 is always going to be 20. Why? Because in each dilution, we're trying to make 20 mils. And remember that V1 is the volume that we want to remove from our stock solution to then add water to. So from our stock solution, we're going to add 5 cubic centimetres and we're going to add 15 cubic centimetres of water to add up to our 20. Moving on to a 0.4 molar solution, we use the same equation. Our C1 is 0.8 because that's our stock solution concentration. We want to make a 0.4 molar solution, so our C2 is 0.4. V2 remains 20, and we can see that we need to remove 10 cubic centimetres from our stock solution and add 10 cubic centimetres of water. To make a 0.6 molar solution, from a 0.8 molar, we do the same calculation again. And just to remember that the maximum concentration we can make with a 0.8 molar solution is a 0.8 molar solution. And so that's why we've only gone up in 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0.8. Sure, you have labelled each of the boiling tubes with the dilution that you want to make with a permanent marker pen. Using a syringe, fill all your boiling tubes with the desired amount of water. Fill the, all the tubes with water first before you move to your stock solution. Now we switch to our stock solution. We use our table to know how much to add to each tube. Of course, the first tube, we don't have to add any of our stock solution to because it's zero moles per decimeter concentration. So our first one is 0 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. And we just added five cubic centimeters. Moving on to 0 0.4, we're gonna add 10 cubic centimeters and so on. And there we have our dilution series using a stock solution that wasn't one mole per decimeter. It was 0.8 moles per decimeter. 